How did I tell my now fiance that I was HIV positive? Hi, my name is Bianca and I'm an HIV positive girly showing you that life does not end post diagnosis. Now, a little disclaimer, I'm not trying to glamorize HIV by talking about my life. I'm just trying to normalize it. Me, along with 1.2 million Americans, are living with HIV, and there's really nothing that we can do about it as of yet. So it is something that, in my opinion, deserves less stigma and more normalization. Now let's get started. Heavenly Father, I thank you, God, for this day. I thank you for this opportunity to be here in front of the people that are going to be watching this. I pray, my God, that you deliver those that are living in fear, that are living in shame, that are living in guilt from the decisions of their past. My God, I rebuke the accuser in the name of Jesus, and I declare, my God, that they take on your grace, my Lord, that they are reminded at the cross of what you did for them, that you carried every single sin, every bit of shame, my God, every bit of guilt and condemnation you bore on the cross my lord so that we may walk in freedom that we, we may walk in love that we may have another opportunity to not only serve you but also live a life worth living i thank you god for your goodness and your mercy in jesus name amen so boom i've been living with hiv for five years now joel my partner was literally like the third or fourth person that I ever disclosed to that I had a romantic interest in. The first person that I ever told literally blocked me. So needless to say, I was in for a rude awakening. Now, when it came to disclosing my status, I did it for myself. I wanted to feel like I accepted myself. I, I had to be like, Bianca, I love you no matter what. I love you no matter who loves you, who accepts you, or who doesn't. I can trade this life and this experience for anything in the world. This was given to me, and I'm going to embrace it. And you hear, Baby Shark, that's my daughter. She's here with me filming. I used to work at a club. The first time I ever met him, we hit it off really well. We spoke for like two or three hours, and that's it. We did not exchange numbers. I didn't anticipate on seeing him again because honestly, I was traumatized. I was fresh out of the relationship with the man that intentionally infected me with HIV. So I was like, I do not trust myself around men. Like, am I going to be able to pick up on the red flags when they're being put down? A few months after that, I ran into my now fiance again at the club. And this time I was ready. I was ready. Like it was a new year. I'm ready to put myself out there and like whoever accepts me accepts me and whoever doesn't doesn't like cool. Obviously, like I was just bigging myself up. You gotta do that. Did I really not care if he accepted me? I cared. I cared very much. If he told me that he didn't want to be with me, I probably would have cried myself to sleep. But at that moment, I have to really big myself up and be like, no, you're that girl. Period. And so that's what I did. We exchanged numbers and at this point I still hadn't told him that I was HIV positive. We're chilling the whole night. I already know that that's mine. I really wasn't thinking about it. Like I was so in the moment, so caught up that I really wasn't thinking about like, oh, when am I going to tell him? Like that hadn't even crossed my mind yet. So we're texting and I'm in my car and I have like butterflies in my stomach. Like everything feels so good. And then he's like, I really want to see you. I really want to hang out with you outside of work. And I was like, yeah, I really want to see you too. And we make plans to link up the next day. He's a personal trainer and I was just like a total gym rat. So I was like, yeah, let's go to the gym. And we decided to go to the gym by my house because I really liked my gym. It closed down because of the pandemic. He pulls up to my crib and I'm like, Oh my gosh, this guy is so fine. We decided to go upstairs to my apartment. I already knew what time it was. Like there was a lot of tension, if you know what I mean. This is before Christ, obviously. And we're at my crib and things are getting really, really heated. Like we're making out and all these things. And I was like really battling with myself because I'm not gonna lie, for a split second, I was like, I'm not gonna tell him. There was that split second because I wanted, I, I, my flesh, was like you need that in your life <laughs> sorry god and so i might just risk it all and not tell him by the way i am fully undetectable at this point i can make a full video video about this but i am fully undetectable at so we are in the moment we are about to reach the point of no return and the reason that i like battled with not telling him is because there are people in the hiv community and this is not to like demonize anybody when i first got diagnosed i started 
looking around like on other YouTube channels and other content creators about how they disclose their status their HIV status to their potential partners. And there are some people that believe that because they are undetectable, they do not need to disclose. I was trying to convince myself to be one of those people. Like, but there was something within me that just felt morally wrong. Like, I just felt like I couldn't do that. Like, no matter how badly I wanted to be selfish in that way, like, I knew that I wanted, number one, a future with this guy. Like, this guy wasn't just someone that I wanted to hook up with. I wanted a future with him. And it would be really wrong to start a relationship with such a lie. So I just wanted to be as honest as I possibly could and if he didn't accept me for that, then so be it. At least I was being true to myself and I gave us, like this relationship, a fair shot. That's the way that I saw it. So we about to, we about to go in, we about to go to town, to, to pound town, sorry. We about to go to town and I'm like, stop. And he was like, what happened? You know, he's grown. He wasn't upset or anything. He was just like confused. I'm like, no, 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 we need to stop. We need to stop right now. Like, I need to tell you something. And I just started freaking out. Like, I started hyperventilating. That started getting him nervous. So it took me a very long time to tell him. It took me about 45 minutes to tell him. I was beating around the bush. I was really nervous. I scrolled up, you know what I mean, twice. <laughs> and I hit it to the face. I was so, so nervous to tell him. I'm like, what if he becomes violent? You know we're at my house like what if he never wants to see me again i was just battling with these thoughts and i'm like whatever bianca you just gotta tell him you're that girl and i told him basically my story about my ex the story that you guys know this is what happened i was no saint you know i was really out here in these streets but this guy like intentionally infected me at the time that i had met my man i still hadn't met the other women that my ex infected. So I didn't even know that he infected other women. All I know is that he was sleeping around without protection because he gave me chlamydia. So that's the reason why I left him. He was just like in shock. Not necessarily that I have HIV, but just like that whole story was just like, whoa, like this guy was wicked. And I think that he had a lot of empathy for me. Like we're gonna have to ask him because I don't know. But I feel like he just had a lot of empathy for me and he was just like, Yo, this girl has really gone through it. Like, she seems like someone that I really want to be with and get to know. And she's just been dealt, like, a really bad card. Like, really bad cards. And, like, I don't know, like, that's just kind of the way he was looking at me. He was just, like, just staring. And I was like, mm, what is he going to say? The man is a man of very few words. So he just stayed quiet and he looked at me. And then he took out his phone and he goes on Google. And what he was looking up was what is undetectable because he didn't know what that meant. So he looked up what is undetectable. He puts his phone down and he grabs me, hugs me and starts kissing me passionately. And the rest was history. <laughs> so that is how I told my man that I was HIV positive. I do want to say that I was so afraid. I was afraid of rejection. I was afraid of like losing him. But at the end of the day, I want someone to rock with me for me. I think a lot of people have the misconception that this is somehow easy for me. And let me tell you something, it's not. I just have a lot of courage and a lot of boldness. And this is not something that's easy. It's not something that I'm necessarily born with. You know, it's a muscle that I practice because I do think that it's worth it. Another thing about I was not about to let somebody think that because they are dating me, knowing that I'm HIV positive, that they're doing me any favors. No, 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 no. You are not doing me a favor by being me, being with me, baby. Because I'd rather be alone than to be with someone that mistreats me and takes advantage of me and abuses my kindness. I wanted him to be aware of that. That no matter how small I was on the inside. I was coming off like a giant because I know that people could smell fear and I didn't want him to think that I was afraid of being alone. The truth of the matter is, is that I'm really not afraid of that. I know that God loves me and I know that God has a plan and purpose for my life. If you are HIV positive or if you have herpes or before you expect someone to accept you, you have to accept yourself. No one can give you that sense of approval. Now that approval comes from God and it was already given to you. So putting up an unrealistic expectation on that other person and that's not fair to them either because they have their own situations, their own traumas and baggage that they're dealing with themselves. So my advice to you when it comes to disclosure is to work on yourself first. 
to to really believe that whether you are single or with a partner you are fully worthy of being loved and being loved correctly and respectfully and as god would love you after that the rest is easy baby the rest is an adventure the rest is like adrenaline rush and and butterflies in your stomach and tears and and grief and joy i mean this is life life doesn't really change that much we're still gonna go through all the things that we would go through if we were hiv negative people that are hiv negative go through the same things that we go through when it comes to dating and when it comes to love and when it comes to loss if you are still in your season of singleness no matter how long it has been trust that god has a plan and purpose for your life that's how i told my man i was hiv positive afraid but fully convinced that I was worthy of every bit of love that he has given me. I pray this blesses your life. I love you. God bless you. And catch you on the next one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bye.